Well, hey guys, before we open up Logic Pro or even turn on the computer, we want to connect any external devices we'll be using with Logic. So in our case, that's going to be either an audio interface or a MIDI keyboard controller. And they'll have some kind of USB connection to the computer. So step one would be plug in the power adapters of the devices if they have them, and then plug those devices into the computer with the USB cables, then turn those devices on, and then lastly, turn your computer on. And in case you're wondering, you don't really need either of those things to use Logic. Uh, a MIDI keyboard controller is going to allow you to play in and record software instruments that are within Logic, but you can also very easily use your trackpad or mouse to input music notes one at a time. And I think you'll find as you're using Logic and you're creating music, there'll be times when it's easier to use the MIDI keyboard and there's times when you'll want to use your mouse or trackpad for that. And an audio interface is going to give you a higher quality audio input into your computer and also a higher quality output from your computer. So if you don't have an audio interface at this time, no worries. Um, you can use your computer laptop's onboard speakers um, to listen or use the headphone jack and a set of headphones for that. Um, but your internal microphone is not going to sound so great. So um, you can use the, the, the laptop's internal microphone to record sound. Uh, but I'd highly recommend using an audio interface if you want to record vocals or you know instruments with a microphone or to even go direct line in for things like guitar, bass, keyboards, or other electronic instruments. So after we have everything connected, we're going to want to make sure that our Mac is seeing those devices properly. So to do that, we're going to use a little application called Audio MIDI Setup. We're going to find it here in Applications. Utilities, Audio MIDI Setup. And the icon for it is going to look like this little keyboard. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then go into Window and just make sure it says Show Audio Devices, Show MIDI Studio. And click on those. For my audio device, I'm using a Universal Audio Thunderbolt. You might be using something different, but just make sure that the name of it is over here on the left. And for my MIDI keyboard controller, I'm using a Launch Key 61 by Novation. And make sure that your MIDI keyboard controller is showing up on a little icon and that it's lit up and not grayed out. It may say something generic like MIDI keyboard, and you can change the name for it. So this app is great for even down the road if someday you go to work and you turn on your MIDI keyboard controller and it's not working. So just go into this little app and you can troubleshoot that right away. It might be a bad connection, it might be a bad cable, or something else. 